What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Maxi Bell. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a 10,000 calorie challenge. Uh, super excited to see how this goes. I've never really attempted anything like this, but you know, it's become a bit of a rite of passage on YouTube. So I'm really keen to see how it'll go and hopefully, hopefully I can impress you guys, you know, so let's jump into it. So we'll go straight into a physique check. This is pre 10,000 calorie challenge. Front relax. We'll do a weigh in now as well. Cool, so we're just on the way to McDonald's now, or Macca's for everyone else. Here it's eight, eight, what time is it? 8.53 in the morning. Um, so I'm actually really hungry. I'm gonna get a couple brekkie McMuffins um, and a banana bread, I think. Maybe something else. And then uh, we're gonna go home. We've got hash browns waiting for us, a whole bag, uh, which is insane. So should be good. I haven't really done any prep for this. I'm not sure if you meant to do anything before a 10K cow challenge. If you meant to, like, you know, if you meant to fast the whole day before or not eat dinner or drink like 13 liters of water or something like that. Um, I'm kind of just raw dogging it, um, hoping for the best, which, but I mean, good try everything once, right? Hi, right, can I please get uh, two sausage McMuffins? Can I add bacon to both of those, please? Two sausage McMuffins, bacon? Yep, and also a banana bread. Sorry, what was that? A banana bread, please. No, that's it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, mate, you too. If they put eggs on my muffins, I'm gonna be really upset. What's up, so we got breakfast. This is 10 hash browns from McCain, not McDonald's. Uh, two sausage and baked McMuffins, banana bread. This is roughly 2,800 cows. Uh, I'll put it on the screen the exact number, but let's dive in. I'm starving, it is 9.30. First meal of the day, let's get going. No sauce. I don't know if that's weird. Maybe I should do sauce. This is just zero calorie. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. It's one for you. It's free.
Mill two. That's not it. Poor packaging terms. These are the best. If you don't know what these are, I feel sorry for you. Let's get into it. So this is a Porto, Portuguese chicken. I don't know what the overseas equivalent is, but it slaps. <laughs> it looks so shit when you get them compared to the picture. This is a triple Bondi burger, three fillets with chili, or maybe, and chips. So these, roughly 1,500 calories. Don't know the exact number. Again, will be on the screen, but not teeps. This, that's over a thousand calories just in the pack, which is amazing. So that's bumping it up or just over halfway, I think, based on this meal. So it is actually a bit later. We had an unexpected house guest, as you saw. Um, but nonetheless, we're gonna finish this off now. This is still only part of meal two, um, lol. <laughs> um, but this is this is kind of the halfway point, so I'm gonna just smash this, get it done, and then just move on, finish off the day. Uh, it's a milk, so let's finish this up. These taste so good, they're so good, but I feel like shit, so it's like ruining the whole experience. I don't know why I thought this would be easy. <laughs> this is so much worse than I thought it would be. Last one. Last in 10. You gorgeous son of a bitch. There was this ad when we were kids. You take a Tim Tim out. And then it's like back there again. It was like a never ending pack up. That is literally my nightmare right now. I don't want a Tim Tim for another three years. Um, it's about. Oh my God, 3.45. And I've just realized I haven't actually shown the time, date or anything this whole way through. So for all of you, you know, he doesn't do it in one day is. Here we go, Saturday 4th, 3.45. Hope you can see that. Um, we're over halfway, we're about 6,000 cows deep. Um, not going great. <laughs> I feel like I've just drunk like a bucket of concrete and it's just setting in my stomach. <laughs> um, I'm so dehydrated, my mouth is just so dry all the time. 
and I'm trying to drink water, but I'm so full. It's just like impossible at the moment. Um, we're about to do a workout. I'm not sure how this is going to go down. I feel ill to say the least. I feel like I could sleep, die, or go for a run all at the same time. Um, so I'm just just doing my best at the moment. Really didn't expect it to be this difficult, if I'm honest. Like you watch people, watch all these people do these challenges and you're just like, oh yeah, easy, easy, I could do that, smash that. But um, this is really putting me through my paces, which is just interesting. Seven hours left roughly before I go to bed, maybe. We can do this, we can do it. Um, but we're gonna try and get into this workout now, back and biceps, just a few, like we're here in a home gym, so there's not a lot we can do, but we're just gonna, um, make the most of it. So, um, Juicy Pump is coming up. finished up in the gym uh it was actually a much better session than i thought it would be like went in really thinking it was gonna be terrible thinking i'd have no energy thinking i'd just feel sluggish bloated like you know when you eat heaps of food and drink heaps of water and you just feel like so lethargic but um i took some pre-work out and that seemed to get me through pretty well the pump was just like i don't think i'm hydrated so i don't think that was really there like i felt full and i felt loaded but just wasn't bursting with uh bursting through the skin you know so it's done it was actually a good session feeling a bit better now feeling a bit more alive so date and time um six o'clock four thousand cows left so i've got some donuts uh and some pizza and stuff like that so what i'm actually going to do is uh go grab the donuts and slowly just churn through it and then uh we're going to grab pizza tonight for dinner so um wish me luck
Last three. Two and three. <sighs> that cookies and cream one just took it out of me. It was heavy. You could like, it had weight to it. I was like, fuck, here we go. <laughs> but these are the last ones now. Last thing, last bite. Mm. That was easier than I thought it would be. I thought that would just take me out, but I thought too bad. I think that is roughly 7,000 total for the day. 6.44. A few more hours left, I'll take it out easy. I'd love to go for like a walk or something, but it's like fully raining outside, which is weird. It rains like once a month, and of course it's today. All right, so it is 9.30. Oh, let's see. Cool. Let's do it. All right, so this is the last meal of the day. Double bacon cheeseburger pizza. Chop chip cookie dough, Ben and Jerry's. Cows be on the screen. Not one part of me wants this at all. <sighs> so let's get into it. That was tough. Chocolate chip cookie dough. I hope the old saying is true that there's always space for dessert because, oh my God.
this is so good. <clears throat> I'm just not here for it at all. It's just, oh my god, it's just sitting there. It's just filling in the gaps. The final, the final fight for the whole day. So that's it. It's the end. I have that much more respect for people that can do this easily. Or even like people that have done like 15,000, 20,000. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. I strongly, strongly recommend you do not do this unless you're insane. <laughs> or have all the cravings in the world and you just need to get out in one day, but that's, that's all that this is good for. Right. I'm gonna go do final weigh-in and physique check post 10,000 cows. We'll see you up there. So we'll do a physique closing view. I literally could do a vacuum if I wanted to. Oh my God. <laughs> it hurts so much. That's, that's it. So that is it guys, uh, 10,000 cows. I had no idea it was gonna be literally that hard. I think I think I made a lot of mistakes that um, if I was able to do it again, or if I was to recommend it to someone, I'd change. So, I mean, the first thing I'd change is that I think I had way too many grams of fat for breakfast. Like the, the 10 hash browns just knocked me out and that just did not move all day. Um, so I definitely changed that. Um, best part of the day was the donuts. Oh my God, that was so good. Like, I think I was in a really good space then. So like, I think I'd finished training. I'd like had some good, some water. So I was like more hydrated. Just went down a treat. Like that was so easy to eat. So easy to, to move and like, that were good. I haven't had a crispy cream in ages, so that was good. Uh, worst part of the day was definitely that pizza just then. That was thick. That was a thick pizza. It was good. We got there in the end. Um, zero out of 10 would not recommend anyone do this. Um, and as I said before, like mad respect to people that do this easily. Like you see YouTubers fly through this and you're like, oh my God, it looks easy, right? And then, um, yeah, this really put me <laughs> to work. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Like if you know, things I could have done better, things I messed up, <laughs> um, what, tell me what you think. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, and if you enjoy it, please, you know what to do. Um, and hang around. I'm going to make some more videos and hope uh, you guys like it. So um, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.